So I was talking to a friend recently, and uh, she's a, a sensitive soul, like like me and, and like you, and uh, she's feeling overwhelmed by the world, and it's a lot to be human on Earth right now, and and you know it's economic anxiety. She's trying to figure out how to express her true purpose in a way that's authentic and ethical that is also financially stable. And there's ongoing ecological catastrophes and environmental destruction, and there's all this crazy stuff happening in the world. And, and so one of the things that we got to in this conversation is the recognition, and this is something that when I'm feeling super anxious or paranoid, it helps me to get to like, what is the real core reality of the moment? And the reality is we live in a world that is at war. The whole of planet Earth is a war zone at this point. I mean, there's a literal ground war in Europe. And I mean, think about the whole history of humanity is it's, you know, aggressive conquest and religious manipulation for power. It's like religious wars are the history of humanity. And so we've got ground war in Europe. We've got drone wars in the Middle East still. Um, there's civil wars and secret wars in Africa and, and all over, really. There's culture wars uh, happening in Brazil right now, very much in the United States, and whether it's racism, homophobia, transphobia, um, the more problematic parts of cancel culture. We're at war with ourselves, and this attempt to identify certain people as the problem, and if we just eliminate those people, then everything will be peaceful. And so we use these aggressive means to try to create peace, and it just doesn't seem to work that way. And so this is also showing up, showing up in the world around us, but it also shows up in our physical bodies. I mean, one of the biggest public health crises at the moment is autoimmune conditions, excess inflammation, heat, anger, rage in the body where our immune system, our defense mechanisms have gone on the attack and are destroying otherwise healthy tissues, important cells, and, and so we're at war with ourselves inside the body and there's, there's this miscommunication happening where, where again, the defense is on the attack and it, it's, it's not uh, appropriate and it's killing us and modern medicine doesn't totally know what to do about autoimmune diseases and it's this this sort of unsolved mystery of public health and so Dr. Gabor Mate in his book When the Body Says No makes a clear connection between autoimmune conditions and psychological states and and the mind-body apparatus and even people who are doing pretty well with their diet and self-care still suffer because of the tone of their internal conversation and so this is the next level of subtlety. Okay, out in the world, yes. In the physical body, yes, on a cellular level. And the next level of subtlety is the psyche, is, is the realm of consciousness. And so personally, I have this very powerful inner critic who is trying to protect me from failure, from embarrassment, but ends up going on the attack and telling me I'm worthless, or that's never good enough, or whatever it is, to, and it ends up protecting me from opportunities, from reaching out, from um, things that, I, that would actually be good for me. And so, so this is the, the sort of psychological expression of a world at war. And so one of the things that I know is if I'm at war internally, if I'm hypercritical with myself, I'm much more likely to be hypercritical of you. And so if we're in conversation, if we're working on a project together, then if I'm you know, sharp with myself, how likely is it that I'm gonna be sharp with you? And, and then if we think about the butterfly effect and you know, what kind of butterfly am I if I'm giving this hateful little flap and it's gonna create a hurricane on the other side of the planet, that's, that's, um, that's not the kind of butterfly I wanna be. And, so, so when we think about this collection of overwhelming problems, a world at war, environmental catastrophe, all these things going wrong, wrong, and what's, it's overwhelming, and what impact could I possibly have? 
but I do have some power, I do have some capacity, and, and so this is where I think of Buckminster Fuller's invention, the trim tab. And the trim tab is the, the place on the rudder of a big ship. He invented it for the Navy to help them turn their ocean liners around more quickly. And so it's this point of greatest leverage where the minimum effort makes the maximum impact. And, and so what is that for this world at war? For, and even think about like global warming, right? We have an inflammation problem on the planet. And so what is my trim tab? What is my point of greatest leverage? And I would suggest that it's in my own psyche. It is in managing the tone of my internal conversation. And the greatest tool I have for that is internal family systems. And, and this is the idea that, um, yes, there are parts of me that want to travel, and a part of me that wants to stay home, and a part of me that wants to party, and a part of me that wants to study. And these are contradictory parts with conflicting needs, wants, desires, and what, you know, the inner critic wants to say, well, this one's right, this one's wrong, you get locked in a closet, you get exiled, and we'll just ignore you while we go in and you know, fulfill the needs of these other parts. And that doesn't work. We can't actually get rid of any of these parts, and there are no bad parts. And, and so the solution and, and the tension of like, nope, this one has to be held at bay, I can't look at you, you don't exist, that tension has an impact on the whole system and impacts how I react and, and interact with you and the whole world. So the, the practice of internal family systems is to have this conversation, welcome all the parts into the room, and have a much more diplomatic conversation so that everybody is seen, heard, known, valued, loved. Even if their behavior is a bit problematic, they're just trying to get a need met. And so if we can welcome them into the conversation, understand what's happening, we may not be able to meet their needs right away, but at least they become part of the system and, and we, can, we can have a more calm, gentle, loving conversation and, and at least everybody's at the table in the room. And so this has been the most healing thing for my mental health over the last couple of years and has helped me soothe of a lot of anxiety and depression and uh, do some reparenting, which has really helped me evolve my own uh, psyche and, and improve all my relationships. And um, so this coming weekend, I'm gonna offer a course in internal family systems, but using the help of some astrological archetypes. So it's called internal family solar systems. And, and the planets give us a, a roadmap of some of, the, some of the characters we may be likely to meet as we're navigating the territory of, of the psyche. And so uh, we'd love to have you with us over that weekend. And um, if anything I've just said makes any sense to you, would love to talk more about it. There's a link right below where you can uh, put yourself on my schedule. We can chat for 20, 30 minutes, free. We can chat about whatever you want and um, just happy to connect. So there's also more information about this weekend's course, which is the jumping off point for an eight week season where we're gonna practice and play and dive deep into IFSS, internal family solar systems, and um, see what happens and see who we meet and see if we can shift the tone of this internal conversation as the, the trim tab, and we can become the trim tab as, as humanity, we are the crew on Spaceship Earth, and we're heading towards an iceberg, <laughs> and, and it's our, up to us to turn away, and shift the course, and, and I think uh, that's what we have the capacity to do, so that's what we're going to work on this weekend, so I'd love to see you there, and uh, in the meantime, take care of yourself, and, and please be gentle with yourself and each other, and I'll look forward to chatting with you soon.